Anyways, moving right along. Moving right along. Frank Chaxfield again, and this was his big Ab-tide. one. Tide. He didn't say it wasn't the singing though. It was just a no. This well, is this is the, he was the uh, uh, the band leader, the right. leader. Right. And this is instrumental. Ebb Tide made number twelve in nineteen fifty. Where are we again? Fifty three. Fifty three. I keep forgetting. I know. But anyways, this old. was a this was a good song too. Uh, Frank Chaxfield. He uh, he did a well. We already talked. He was about quite him. an orchestra leader. Yeah. Right? You know, yeah. We already talked stuff. about. Him. Anyway, you ready for it? Yeah, ebb tight. Yeah, here we go. Ebb tight. Beautiful song. I think that's it. I think the song is over. I think it is, yeah. But that uh, uh, the Ebb Tide uh, went on for years and years and years. In fact, you still you'll still hear it uh, on some of the radio. Uh, no, the plat- the platters did it. Right. Ebb Tide. I think uh, didn't Righteous Brothers do it too? No, no, uh, Everly Brothers. Did they do it too? Oh, I'm sure everybody's yeah, done a version of it. Yeah, yeah. I'm still well, he's to, looking up. Uh, I'm still trying to find the La Rosa. He's still thing. trying well, to find the, the, the little article about Jesus. With his recordings of his appearance, that Godfrey shows La Rosa permanently grew exceptionally on um, point in La Rosa fell. Um, a year after La Rosa was hired, he was receiving 7,000 fan letters a week. Godfrey did not react well to La Rosa. Now, this is what my wife was starting to read. To La Rosa's right hiring Rockwell as his manager after consulting right. with CBS president Frank Stanton. On the morning of October 19, 1953, in a segment of the show broadcast on radio only, after La Rosa finished singing Manhattan on yep. Go- Arthur Godfrey's uh, time, Godfrey fired La Rosa on the air. By saying this was Julius' swan was song. Announcing that was swan song with yeah. us. La Rosa and and Julius La Rosa met, did not even know it. He had no idea that was coming. Tearfully met with Godfrey after the broadcast and thanked him for giving him his break. La Rosa was then met by Godfrey's offices, by his lawyers, manager, and some reporters. Tommy Rockwell was highly critical of Godfrey's behavior, angry, chatting La Rosa's public humiliation, or citing 
Right. Yeah. So it it sounded to me like it, it says, was a it little. It says here, yeah, it says it you know didn't it began working. Um, he his career took off anyway, so he was yeah he was after Godfrey. Godfrey was a little jealous because Julius <clears throat> hired somebody outside the studio as his manager instead of Arthur Godfrey or Arthur Godfrey's it said things to, there. It says you know, their people. Ed Sullivan immediately signed La Rosa for appearances on CBS Toast of the Town. He well, here's the show. thing. Here's the thing. He turned right around and fired Archie Blyer, too, because Archie Blyer went and, and formed the Cadence Records. Well, now look at what Godfrey did, because look what Archie Blyer did. First of all, he had a big hit single that sold a million called Hernando's Hideaway. Oh, yeah. Band leader Archie, Archie Blyer. Yep. And look what Archie Blyer did with the Cadence. Yep. Cordettes sang on Cadence label. The Everly Brothers sang on the case. So I think Arthur Godfrey uh, kind of got the short end of that whole deal. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. that's hey, that's what happens. Jealousy will do that. I call it jealousy. I I, I think Arthur Godfrey. Uh, I, I liked. I listened to his show, and don't get me wrong. I don't but, remember him. It was, yeah, it was well, before, before you, time, but yeah. you know, I listened to him, and he did that one song uh, called "Slowpoke" and and uh, uh, "Dance Me Loose" and stuff like that. But uh, it just sounds like he got a little little jealous and didn't want somebody to go on without him being part of I it. I guess. Yeah. yeah. Anyways, our next song. Well, first of all, Frank, was it Frank? Yeah, Abtai, we just played. That was number 12 in, yep. uh, in 1953. Right. 